second grade classroom, a girl sits in history class and reads. Directly beside her sits her best friend. His name is Tony. He's talking to another boy at the table and she can hear what they're saying. He's saying obscene and very untruthful things about her. The next day, he asks her for a kiss. She says no. The day after that, he tells her he's going to have sex with her. She says no. And the day after that, he touches her. He grabs her from under the table without her permission. She reports him and no disciplinary actions follow. That girl was me. I Maeve Hamilton, and that was my inspiration for this project. Toxic masculinity is a big issue when it comes to sexual assault and sexual harassment. There's not just one sole source that fuels this toxic masculinity. The American Psychological Association shows that both friends, family, and society encourage boys to adopt traditional masculine behaviors. Toxic masculinity doesn't just impact women, but also damages boys and men. Men often feel they must exhibit dominant or ma masculine, masculine traits or otherwise be faced with marginalized or stereotypes. This is unfair but quite common and a choice most young boys have to make. Toxic masculinity has harmful effects both psychologically and physically. Psychologically, for example, there's unnecessary financial, financial stress such as the head of the household mentality. Also, close emotional relationships between friends can often be seen as weak or feminine. Physical harmful effects include the, the APA itself stated that men are 3.9 times more likely to experience accidental death due to dangerous activities they're dared into and drugs and alcohol. Rape culture. Rape culture is created and accepted through female objectification, glorific glorification of sexual harassment, assault, and rape, and prevalent misogyny. Rape culture is always happening all around us. We don't even notice it. It's blaming the victim, telling sexually explicit jokes, normalizing misogyny, the boys will be boys mentality, assuming men don't get raped or only weak men do, and disregarding sexual harassment, assault, and rape accusations. Ebony Magazine said this, let's stop teaching how to avoid being a victim and instead attack the culture that creates it in the first place. Men commit the majority of rapes, but we still continue to turn to women to solve that problem. Sexual harassment. The most basic de de definition of sexual harassment is unwanted sexual behavior or requests that have been often and or make the receiver uncomfortable, scared, and confused. There are multiple types of sexual harassment. Quick pro quo, for example. It's a this for that, a promotion in exchange for a sexual favor. Hostile environment harassment. For example, when students are unable to conform to gender stereotypes. Girls can't play football, boys can't play with dolls. It's often sex discrimination. There's also bullying and cyberbullying. Sharing and spreading sexual rumors, for example. Many cases of sexual harassment aren't even reported. According to the American Association of University Women, one half of students who were sexually harassed in the 2010-11 school year said they did nothing afterward in response to sexual harassment. Finally, sexual assault and rape. Sexual assault and rape are two very different things, but they're used interchangeably. Rape is forced intercourse through penetration when sexual stop, assault stops short of rape and includes unwanted sexual contact. According to the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network, about 97% of rapists assault and assaulters never spend any jail time at all. Most rapists don't get in any trouble at all even. According to the U.S. Bureau of Justice's Bureau of Justice Statistics, among college-aged individuals, quote, the offender was known to the victim in about 80% of rape and, rape and sexual assault cases. So this is only phase one. I have built a website online, so you may be asking, what's next? 
Well, I plan on lobbying to implement safety zones in schools, have, have sexual assault and harassment training workshops for both teachers and students, teach more about the benefits of an equal society, and continue to research this topic and reach out to others who are passionate about it. Thank you. Um, so, I've been to a, a summit at a high school about this exact topic that you've done. So, like I like all the stuff that you said that I kind of I can understand and like I see it is important. Um, and I think that uh, what you're doing with your website is awesome. And uh, also, um, how do you how do you look at any other like groups or organizations that are helping with like men's like specifically to like help shape the stigma around yes. this topic? 